you may love your shiny, sturdy smartphone until the summer comes and it creates a huge lump in your jeans pocket. Well, imagine if your phone looked like this, as thin and flexible as a piece of paper. You'd be able to bend it, roll it, even drop it without creating much damage. Well, today we came to Cambridge and we're going to show you two technologies being looked at to create a flexible smartphone of the future. So the keys of this piano here are made of graphene printed on a transparent piece of plastic and this could be a first step towards creating a fully flexible smartphone of the future. So, Professor Ferrari, could you tell us what is graphene and how we could use it to create a flexible device? Graphene is a monolayer of carbon atoms arranged in a chicken wire and is the thinnest material existing. It is a truly two-dimensional material and it has two very important properties that can be used for flexible and transparent devices. It is very conductive, like a metal, but unlike a traditional metal, unlike iron, you can see through it. So what exactly can you make out of graphene? Can you make flexible electronics or the front glass? Or what, what do you make? At the moment, you can use graphene on the top of a plastic scaffolding. We will not make a phone or a device entirely of graphene. We will still, still use a polymeric substrate. And on the top of the substrate, you can print transistors. You can print the screen. You can print the antenna of the phone. In principle, in the, in the near future, we hope to make flexible batteries made of graphene, and there are already very interesting preliminary results. Of course, we are speaking about a long-term vision. Uh, companies such as Samsung and Nokia are working hard on this, but we don't know exactly the timeline when the devices will, will be on the market. Our vision is to integrate flexible and plastic electronics, the research done to date, with graphene, the functionality is enabled of graphene to get a better, smarter, and more flexible device. And now we've come to a company also here in Cambridge that uses a completely different approach to flexible displays. It's called Plastic Logic. Hi, Michael. Could you explain your technology to us, please? Our core technology is a um, electrophoretic e-ink-based display. Um, you can see an example of it here. Um, and what we do that's special is that we take the optical component of the display, which is already flexible, and we add a flexible um, set of electronics, uh, backplane technology. Um, and that allows us to build up a flexible, uh, fully flexible display technology. What are the different possibilities uh, for the consumer using this technology? Taking advantage of the lightweight and robust nature of our display technology, you can make very large um, e-reader uh, type products uh, and, and even tile uh, displays together. Uh, a second application would be a smartphone, and so we can make our display smaller uh, specifically for that type of application. And finally, you can use it for a conformal um, type of application, for example, a, um, a wristwatch, which is a completely uh, wrapped around your, um, around your arm and has all the information that is on your smartphone. So if a customer goes to a store uh, and wants to buy a fully flexible smartphone, is a smartphone made with your e-ink technology, your plastic logic technology, going to be appealing to them and, and why? You are not going to get the same color performance as you will get from your um, emissive display technologies. At the moment, the displays that we make um, are primarily useful for secondary displays. And, and, you know, so you, you would have this uh, display as maybe part of the case, maybe on the back of the phone, and really take advantage of the, the fact that the, the, the power consumption on the display is very low and that the daylight readability is very high. And we believe that uh, flexibility is the next revolution in, in display technology. If you think 10 years backwards, in 2002, graphene was not there in the same, we, you know, we didn't even think about it. So it's such a fast-moving field that we don't know where we're going to be in a few years' time. 